Hey guys, welcome to What Was Mommy Thinking? My name's Crystal. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the fun. If you aren't new here, thanks so much for coming back. And today is going to be one of those videos where I show you one more thing that I do to prepare and plan so that in life's little journeys, I am ready for whatever comes at me. So stick around while we get ready to go for a baseball tournament. All right, so I know that very, very few of you, if any, may be in the exact same place that I am in life with having kiddos that play travel sports, but this doesn't just apply to that. So if you're going anywhere and you've got little kids traveling with them, a lot of what's in today's video will apply to you. If you're going to the fair, if you're going to a theme park, any of that stuff, if you're going to be traveling with little kids, and you're going to be at an outdoor event especially, a lot of what I have here today will help you. I thought I would just share. Um, if we are traveling, there's a couple of tips I will give you guys. This is my Franken planner. It is my brain. And one of the things that I do is back in my catch-all planner, behind all of the meal planning and everything else, I have a section well, it's actually just a page, one single solitary page. Let me find it. It's yellow, so it's kind of hard to miss. There it is. So I made this a couple of years ago when both of my boys started playing travel sports. And, of course, I haven't really adjusted it much for the pandemic, but this is my baseball tournament page. I can make a copy of this and check it off if I need, but what I like about it is it's kind of comprehensive, so I can go through every week, and like this week, our tournament's very close to home, so I won't need all of this, but this is what goes in my baseball bags, this is what I'm going to take for the wagon, this is what I keep in the car, and this is what are the staples in our cooler, and of course you add and, and take away from it. My wallet, I know that that sounds like a no-brainer everybody knows to take their wallet but guys I can't tell you how many times I've left the house without my wallet your keys your cell phone hand sanitizer chapstick sunscreen sunblock stick which is for the face um, sunglasses gum and mints a brush scrunchies and headbands for me um, hand soap and water is something that we keep in the car in a bin we keep a, a gallon of water and some hand soap and some paper towels tissues cooling towels when it's hot outside we have charging battery packs, which I'm getting ready to show you guys, and cables, camera and batteries, my sun visor, bug repellent, a garbage bag, Ziploc bags, glow sticks for night games, napkins and plastic silverware, playing cards, ponchos, toilet seat covers, toilet paper, fruit snacks, Gatorade, cheese, beef jerky, Cheez-Its, Pringles, cashews, almonds, candy, and extra eye black. So that's sort of the staple stuff. For my wagon, we always take our own folding chairs. Occasionally we'll take a tent when it gets really hot out. Our misting fans for when it's really, really hot out. The five gallon buckets are for the misting vans, our Arctic cups because they hold ice even in the heat, and then Jackson's bag is a little backpack that I'll show you guys that he packs his own stuff. In the car we keep towels, blankets, a change of clothes for every person, and the best thing in the world is if you get through an entire baseball season and you never have to use that, but you never know. A laundry bag for any dirty clothes or clothes that got wet. A cooler with extra ice to refill the ice in the cooler with our drinks. Um, extra socks for my players. Travel pillows, paper towels, and an air mattress with a pump. I have a little twin size air mattress that we keep for my nine year old or if we've got a big great break between games and it's too far to drive home then one of my boys might lay on that and rest between games in our cooler we always have gatorade water soda juice tea grapes watermelon strawberries oranges and it's not always all of those but at least one or two um, sweet roll ham and cheese sandwiches hawaiian sweet roll Sometimes I'll make pasta salad and then celery and jiff to go. So this is sort of a, a very, like I said, very comprehensive, just a lot of ideas for ours. And then if we are going out of town, then I have this list over here. This is my first aid kit. Tylenol, Ibuprofen, Aleve, Pepsid or Tums, Imodium, Pepto-Bismol tablets, Benadryl, Claritin, Allegra, KT tape for sore muscles, Coban, 
Ace Wraps, Splints and Slings, Scissors, Neosporin, Hydrocortisone, Afterbite, Burn Gel, Splinter Removals, Biofreeze, Band-Aids, Gauze, Curlix, Tegaderm, my son's inhalers, a pulse ox, a thermometer, eye wash, an eye flush because the dirt on the field sometimes gets in eyes. I've mostly used that for umpires. Um, disinfectant wipes and a TENS unit. So I will show you guys here in a minute how I put all of this together. If we are going out of town, just your standard list. This isn't everything, but toothbrush, toothpaste, soap or body wash, skincare, lotion, shampoo, deodorant, vitamins or probiotics, um, probiotics, pillows, their underwear and socks. They wear special underwear and socks for baseball, short shirt shoes, charger cables, heating pad, laundry soap, and swim trunks. So then I just add to that depending on where we're going and how many people in our family are going. So now I'm going to close this up or at least flip it back over and we're going to go pack my baseball bag and again this weekend's tournament is pretty close to home so I don't need to do all of this but we're going to go get what I need packed up. Alright so here is a very um, broad overview of all of this stuff that I keep my this is why my office looks like a total disaster for baseball season. Um, Back over here is the charging station that you guys have seen me use. Whoops, there we go, magic finger. Um, this is the charging station you guys saw me use a couple weeks ago to hold my cash for envelope stuffing. But as you can see, it has a job to do, which is to hold all of our little charging battery packs. Let me give you guys... I wanted to give you guys a closer look of this area. Um, this is two battery packs. They sit in this little charging station. These I take... Um, these are all battery packs. So these are packs that we can use to charge any device with a cable. We keep them in this bag right here. This is my GoPro. I use this to videotape my son's games. We videotape the entire game and then I put it together and we upload it to send to family back home in Florida. These are extra GoPro batteries. We make sure that everything is completely charged up. This is an extra battery for my camera that I take pictures with of the boys and same here. So those are generic batteries to fit my Canon camera. This is the first aid kit that I take when we have a local tournament. It has less in it. I have a full um, bag that I take when we're further away from home. I have some extra SD cards, some hand lotion, and in this bag is where I keep all of the charging cables and my case for my GoPro. So this holds my GoPro camera and these little feet are magnetic so I can wrap it around the chain link fence behind home plate and it stays put no matter how much the wind blows. In here I've got a couple charging cables. This is where I keep let me open it for you guys. This is where I keep um, extra charging cables and things of that nature. And then in this case is where I keep my earbuds, I guess is what you call them. They're, the, they're not wireless, but that's where I keep our little extra earbuds. So that's all that goes in here, and then there's a DS charging cable. This is my main baseball bag. That's the one that we're getting ready to pack together. This is my Canon that I've had for about 12 years now. I love this camera. It's a Rebel TI or T1i. It is old. I have an extra lens. It takes beautiful pictures of the kids when they're out on the field playing. This is my baseball bag where I keep my camera equipment. This is the baseball bag that I use to put snacks and stuff in. And this is the backpack that my nine-year-old packs up to put all of his stuff in if he's going. This is actually a backpack that my middle son used when he was in second or third grade. He used it for a couple years. He picked out every single one of these patches that's sewn onto it. And at the time, of course, he was into Pokemon. Um, this is a patch um, from the, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Dallas shootings that happened here at the time I was a trauma coordinator downtown in Fort Worth and this greatly impacted all of us. Um, American flag, of course, Florida Gators and the Texas Rangers. And then on the inside, he's got some more Pokemon. And I think that's it for the patches. Nope, I'm sorry, I fibbed to you. 
inside the bag is another Pokemon and a Joe Cool. So that's that bag. And when Jackson's going with us to the fields, he packs this up and takes his own stuff. So I'm going to throw you guys on the tripod and we're going to get packing. All right. So first thing that we're going to pack up is this little bag here because it's sort of the easiest to pack up for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take everything out. I have a battery here that I didn't charge. I'm going to throw that on the charger. I have yet to go to a tournament that was local that we drove back and forth to where I've needed more than two batteries for my Canon. So I'll be taking the one that's in it and the back one back here since it's already fully charged. But here's how I do this. First thing that goes in are these um, earbuds. Second thing that's going to go in is this, and in this little bag, I'm going to put all of my GoPro batteries. So I'll take all of these out and put them in here. And I want to make sure that I've got my SD card, which as we can see is not in my GoPro. So I have a 120, I want to say 8. Um, yeah, so I have one of these 128s that goes in here, so I want to make sure that before I put everything in this bag, I have that. Then I always have extra SD cards, and I keep them in this pocket here of this bag. And that way, if something crazy happens, I have it. So let me grab this one. So I found it. It's in the little adapter, 128. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. But first, I need to go wipe it out. Hang on just a second, y'all. Okay, so I went ahead and made sure that there's nothing on this because occasionally I goof that up. So I'm going to put this in my GoPro, close my GoPro up, and throw it in this little bag. So this will get zipped up and it's going to go right in here then my case for it and I also need the charging cable and charging station sorry I had to get that so this has to go with me because I do recharge my GoPro batteries one of these days I will get one of those um, battery packs that charges the entire time. My extra charging cables are the long corded ones. A DS charging cable I don't need to take today because Jackson isn't coming with us. And then I just need to pick out some battery packs to throw in here. So I'm going to take this white one and this blue one Whoops. right here. And then I also want to take an extra battery for my camera back here. So I'll put all of that in there, zip it up completely, and it goes right down in this bag. So what else goes in this bag is my actual camera, and I always want to make sure that I have a battery, which I don't. So let me grab a fully charged one. As you can tell, I have batteries all over the place charging. So this one's fully charged. It's going to go in here. And I want to make sure that I have an SD card. And this one, let's see what size this one is. This is a 32. That'll hold a lot of pictures. So I've got that. So this will go in here. Then my extra lens goes in here and my first aid kit. I'll give you guys a peek at this really quick. I may actually put my first aid kit back in that bag. But in my first aid kit, I've got trauma shears, eyeglass cleaning kit, ace wrap coban. This is injury tape, medication. Um, that's a, what is that, an approximate? So that's a leave. Then I've got Aura Gel in case anybody gets hit in the mouth with a ball. I've got Hydrocortisone Cream for bug bites. I've got BioFreeze individual little packets for sore muscles. And I also have some triple antibiotic back there. 
Up here I've got hand wipes. I've got um, blister protection and prevention from KT tape. I've got all kinds of different sizes of bandages, band-aids, big ones, gauze pad, gloves, tagaderms, and um, some more stuff back there. So I've got all of that. And that's really the bulk of what I need for um, local tournaments. So I'm going to bring this bag forward. My baseball hat, my little baseball mama hat. And Jackson's not going today, so I'm going to take his blanket out. And in the bottom of this bag, I keep a rigid container like this. And I'll show you why here in a minute. So on one end of my bag, I keep this kind of stuff. So let's pack up an end. I'm going to put some desitin, and that's for any chafing or anything. I put in some Odor X and... I'm almost out of this one, so I'm going to have to order some more. The Shoe Refresher Spray and Foot Spray. Y'all have no idea how important that is. I use the Gold Bond Baby Powder. We've got Gold Bond with Lidocaine for anything that's hurting. And a, thing, a little tiny thing of Clorox wipes. So we put all of that in this end. And... On this end, actually I'm going to use the other end. So that's pretty much it for this end. I'm going to close this end up. We're going to flip this bag around. And on this end, we're going to put our first aid kit. We're going to put our sunscreen. I love this sun bum. Let me make sure it's closed. Yep, it is. So sun bum and our sun bum face stick, both SPF 50 and some deep free bug repellent because y'all in Texas, the bugs are no joke. So I will close that up. And then in this front pocket, I have some Febreze fabric to go, which is for my car, because baseball boys be stinky. I've also got a women's and a men's degree and a perspirant spray, because again, they be stinky. And I'm going to put that back. I picked the wrong pocket there. So put those in here. And then I put in my hand lotion. And pardon my head, y'all. A bunch of chapsticks. I've got um, black, blue, and pina colada. And I put in my bag of bungee cords. The bungee cords help hold everything to the wagon, and then for my player, I always keep a backup of the SPF sunblock uh, chapstick. Their lips do get really, really chapped. Alright, so that is it for that pocket as well. So now we go into the main compartment, and again, like I said, I do like to use this because for certain snacks and things that I have, if we're going local, I may not even have to use this bag. I may just be able to get away with this and this. So for this, I'm going to pack up some of the items that, like, I've always got some cups, some spoons, some small paper plates. And then in here, I've got hand wipes, Ziploc bags, napkins, and garbage bags. So I'll keep this in here. And I should have a lid. I do have a lid. Because we don't access this stuff as much, I'll put it in there like that. And that also elevates the other stuff that we do use more commonly. So I'm going to move this bag out of the way. And then we're going to come in with the good stuff. So for my husband and I, if we get snackish, I've got some turkey sausage bites. We always, always, always have gum at the ball field. And I will put that in this bag. Another thing that'll go in are my son's Gatorade shoes. You can buy these in the pouches. There's five per sleeve. Those are going to go in. A favorite snack of everybody are these Nature Valley Oats and Honey Crunchy Bars with a little jiff to go. You just break these and dip them in the peanut butter, and this is wonderful. I've got, sorry about hitting the camera, y'all. I've got a good selection of protein bars. We've got the gluten-free um, peanut butter and jelly ones for my husband. Built bars are also gluten-free. The one protein bars are good. So anything that's high protein is really good for him to munch on between games. And I should have a, yeah, birthday cake one back here is his favorite. 
the white chocolate macadamia nut is mine. And yeah, so these will go in for today. And this is super easy to refill if they, you know, if him and his buddies, if anybody eats that, that's fine. We've got a big bag of plain sunflower seeds. And that's going to go on the end. Then, let me grab my husband's. Oop, I hit the camera again. I'm so sorry, you guys. I stink at this. So, I've got my husband's Good Thin Crackers. And I don't know if you guys know how superstitious baseball players are, but he likes these fruit-flavored Mentos, and he likes to give them to a couple of his teammates, and they've been doing this for a couple of years now. So I have to make sure that I always have those and gum. And then the junk. So corn nuts, ranch corn nuts, are one of Connor's favorites. He loves Sour Patch Kids. And there's a tiny bit, as you can see, of Swedish fish left. So that's about it for this bag. What I'm going to do is take my wallet, my um, Filofax Safiano that you guys see in all of my budget videos and cash stuffing videos. It is where I keep my little sports envelope for cash. I'm going to move some cash into this. And this wallet will go in my bag with my camera. And then this is a little bag that I keep in my purse. It's just a little cosmetics bag. In it I keep a lens cloth for cleaning glasses. I keep some orthodontic wax. We have um, one son with braces. This is a little like self-grooming kit. Um, I've got a chapstick in here and some Tylenol in a nail file. So this will also go into this bag here and other than that we are good to go we don't need cooling towels today um, as far as sunglasses go his glasses are transition lenses um, and I've got everything that I think that I need other than the this stuff that'll just go we'll do out in the garage but my bags as far as my bags go my bags are ready to go my husband typically helps me with the wagon and the cooler stuff this is stuff that we have pre-packed, and it's the same bag with all of the stuff in it all the time. So this is already ready to go, and that was it. So as long as I have my list and I can reference it and go off of it, um, I am going to throw in one of these little collapsible cups just to keep in the bag. Uh, I don't think that we're going to need it. I think those are more for when we are out and about and like the dog needs a drink or something like that but this is all I'm going to put in it for this weekend or for today I may depending on what time they get games tomorrow I may have to adjust it a little bit but I can always throw my hoodie in here um, which I may want to do because I don't think let me grab my hoodie I don't think I'm going to need it right when we get to the ball fields but I think I'm going to need it he has an 8 o'clock game tonight, so let me, I just washed it and hung it up too, so that's good. Got a nice clean hoodie with some dog hair on it, of course, and I will throw my hoodie in this bag. So I try to leave a little bit of room in here um, if my husband wants to take his hoodie or if my little boy, my little son is going and he needs to stick something in here, his blanket would have gone in here. Um, and that gets us ready. And this bag is just kind of the perfect size to sit on top of the wagon. So we get our wagon, we put our small cooler in it, and then I just set this on top of the wagon and we take it to the fields with this. And this one is sort of my baseball purse. So if you guys have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below. This is just one more thing that you do or I do to help me be ready, to help me be prepared, and so that I don't have the stress of needing something and not having it. I would rather take too much and not need it than to take too little and need something that I don't have, or, or worse yet, a player needs something that I don't have. So this is just one more thing that I do to help set myself up so that when I'm out and about with my kiddos that we're ready for anything that throws at us so that it doesn't distract away from all of the fun and all of the memories that we're making because baseball is amazing. To watch your kids do something they love and the joy that they have from it makes everything worthwhile. 
One last thing that I almost forgot, flushable wipes. These are a must. They will, these will go in our bag that's in the car that has the toilet paper, the paper towels and stuff in it because I can't tell you how many times we've gotten to the ball fields or gone to like a, a something at the park or a field day event and there's no toilet paper or anything in the restrooms that they have there. So always make sure that you have something like this on hand, especially if you have little kids. I hope you guys are having an amazing weekend and week. I hope that you are having beautiful weather where you are and that you pick one of your routines to hone in on to help make whatever that is a little bit easier for you. So if you're a dance mom, a sports mom, a scouts mom, whatever it is, make yourself a little list as a master plan to keep somewhere that you can either make a copy of it and just take what you need off of it so that you don't have to stress about it every time it rolls around. Take care, everybody. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.